The Nintendo Switch has been out now for coming on 4 years, and you can't deny that the beauty of being able to switch from handheld to playing on your TV is still one of the best things to happen to modern gaming. If you're like me, the ability to be able to dock your Switch around the house might just be an appealing idea. However, with the official Nintendo docking station costing anywhere from £100 upwards, it can be quite off-putting. Luckily there are third party options on the market like the Gully Kit dock from around £30 so I thought I'd give it a try and see if it actually worked as well as the official dock. Right from the start the first thing you notice is just how much smaller this dock is compared to Nintendo's one and this also means you don't have to have as much space in a secondary location. This one can fit easily right in. The Gully Kit dock comes in this sleek minimalistic black box and do be aware that you only get the dock and nothing else. This means you'll need to provide your own HDMI cable and power source to get this one up and running. You can use your connectors from the official dock, but that would negate the point of getting a second dock. If we turn the gully kit around, we have three inputs. One for the HDMI cable, a USB 3 port, so if you have a wide control pad for example, you could plug that in here. And a USB-C port, which again supports the original switch adapter and other 3 amp adapters. Obviously given the size of this thing, it wouldn't be possible to add as many USB ports as the original dock. And given the price, certain emissions like this can be forgiven. It's also worth noting that this can be used to charge smartphones that support the USB-C port. Lastly, there's a button next to the HDMI port which can be used to switch to TV and dock mode. So if you just wanted to put your switch on charge and continue to play in tabletop mode, you can. To place the switch in the dock, you lift the front panel which is held in place by magnets. This is also a securing feature that holds your switch in place, but you will have to be more careful matching a connector to the base of the switch, as this doesn't slide into place as smoothly as the original dock. This would be my biggest issue with this dock and it did make me feel as though I was going to damage the switch if I didn't get it connected just right. Once everything is all connected however, you're good to go. The image and sound quality aren't impaired in any way and this works just like the official dock sending the information straight to the TV for you to continue playing on the big screen. The question is, would I recommend the Gully Kit dock? Well, not as your primary docking station I wouldn't. So if your original dock was damaged and you're looking for a replacement then I would recommend just spending that little bit extra to get the official dock. If however you're looking for a secondary dock that you'll use every now and then then yes I would say give the gully kit dock a go. It's a cheaper option that's small enough with a minimal design to fit into most spaces. You will need to provide your own connecting wires but this should be inexpensive and won't bring the cost of the dock up by much if you have to buy new ones. And there you have it, the gully kit dock for the Nintendo Switch. Cost effective, simple to set up and most importantly it works.